Good morning. How's everybody today? You having a great day? I hope so. Let's start class with a word of prayer. Father, thank you for your goodness in each one of our children. Thank you for the big person that's helping today. Help the kids to work really, really hard and to do a good job. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's go over our verses. We're talking about being a good leader. And our verse is first one is found in 1 Timothy 4.12, our verse for the month. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Team, Psalm 143.10, why don't you stand up, everybody stand up please. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. You, Psalm 75, 1. This is our verse for this week, right? Three times, please. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Two more times. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. One more time. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Okay, today is Thursday. There's no class tomorrow, four days this week, so we need a video of you saying your verse, right? Good. Okay, we're talking today about leadership. Yesterday we talked about planning ahead, right? Think about what you need to do. Did you plan for your day today? Did you get everything ready? Did you surprise your mama or your big person? Wow, you're all ready for school. Did you do that? I hope so. Okay, now when we plan ahead, um, if we're doing a job, one of the things you need to think about is how long will it take me to do what I need to do? Now, you're kind of little, and it's kind of hard to think how long will it take me to do, but it's something you do need to learn. Is this going to take me a little bit of time or a lot of time? So what do you need to do? You always do your work first. You don't play and say, I'll do my work later because there's you'll run out of time. Okay. So we always work first. And I learned that when I was real little, like your age, because my mom and dad worked and my sisters and I would come home from school and we had things we had to do before mom and dad got home. And so what would we do? We knew how much time we had. And so we would say, okay, it's going to take me this long to do this, 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 this. And sometimes I would watch my favorite cartoon first because I knew I, it would take me a little bit of time to do this. I would watch the favorite cartoon and then go do the work and then come back and watch other cartoons. Mm -hmm. I would do that. Um, but sometimes you might forget and, oh, you do something else. No. So you do your work first, but know how long it will take. Some people are late for church all the time. They don't stop and think, how long will it take me to get to church? Or they miss the bus for church because they they didn't make enough time. And then they miss, bus. oh, I don't go to church. Oh, miss the bus. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mark already came. So what do you need to do? Stop and think. How much time do I need to get my job done? A little bit of time or a whole bunch? And then do your work first, okay? Make sure you leave your house with enough time to get to wherever you need to be, right? Mm -hmm. When I was in school, we, I knew what time we left the house. I had to leave when the clock said this time in order to be at the bus by that time, right? Mm hmm how long does it take you? Okay, we're talking about planning ahead, right? Okay. One of the most important things to plan ahead for is when you're all grown up. But that's a long time away. Yes, it is. And you might, you might grow up and you might not. You might die. You might die and never be a grown up. Wouldn't that be sad? Well, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, but, you know, we had a little girl in our school who got sick and went to the hospital. She went to Tegucigalpa, and they had to give her blood, and they were not careful. And everything was not clean, and she got sick and died. And that was sad. 
Yes, it was sad, but no, it wasn't sad. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Little girl died. Well, the reason I say that is not sad because that little girl, one month before that, had planned for that. She came into the classroom and she said, Miss Susan, I ask God to be my daddy because I don't want the devil to be my daddy anymore. And so when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. Little Kaylee did not know that one month later she would be there. She did not know that. But what did she do? She said, I want God to be my daddy. I don't like the devil being in charge. I want God for my daddy. And when I die, I want to get to go to heaven. So when I got the call from her mama saying, Kaylee died. I was sad because I would miss Kaylee. I loved Kaylee. Very happy little girl. But you know, at the same time, I was so happy. Because I knew where Kaylee was. Kaylee was in heaven with Jesus. And you know what? We told all the children about it. And do you know what? We explained to the children in her class that Kaylee was in heaven with Jesus because she had asked God to be her daddy. And I think only one other little child in her class had asked Jesus to be their daddy. Only one other little one little girl, her very best friend, had also done that. <gasps> no. Mm -mm. Kaylee was the only one in the class that had done that up till then. Only one. And when all the other children, we explained to them that Kaylee was in heaven with Jesus and what heaven was like. Wow, they were excited for Kaylee. Wow, Kaylee's in heaven with Jesus. And it's a wonderful place. And you know what all the children said? Wow, I want to go to heaven to be with, with Kaylee and Jesus. And one of the other children, her very best friend, you know what? Her very best friend did. She said, she did because of Kaylee going there. She said, God, I was waiting. I was waiting, but not anymore. I want you to be my daddy too, just like Kaylee. Kaylee was a good leader. She was a good leader. What did she do? She planned ahead. And because Kaylee planned ahead, when she died, she got to go to heaven. And because she was a good leader, her friend made that same decision. And you know what? Her prima, same thing happened with her prima. Her prima said, wow. And her prima was older. Her prima was, I think like 12, maybe 11 or 12. And her prima said, oh, Kaylee planned ahead. I'm going to do what Kaylee did too. I'm going to do what Kaylee did and I'm going to make that. I'm not going to put it off. Kaylee was a good leader. And because of Kaylee made that decision, everybody in the school was so happy for Kaylee. You know what? Kaylee's mommy and daddy, still, they are not God's children. Mm -mm. They are not. They're not God's children. They'll do that later. They don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, Kaylee's, Kaylee's mommy loved her very, very much, but her daddy, daddy loved her, but her daddy drank and did bad things. And their house was not a happy house all the time. Her daddy would come home angry and drunk. Not anymore. Because Kaylee is in heaven with her daddy. And her daddy in heaven never comes home drunk. Her daddy in heaven never comes home angry and ugly. She made a very, very important decision. The most important one that she could ever make. She planned for eternity. Mm -hmm. What about you? Have you asked God to be your daddy? Oh, I'm going to do that later. You do not know how much time you have. But you know what? I would want God to be my daddy today. Listening to the devil gets you into trouble. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what Kaylee said. Yes, she wanted to go to heaven when she died. But you know what? She wanted God as her daddy then today right because she knew the devil got her into she knew that god would help her with her score kate kaylee had problems studying she had trouble learning mm -hmm. she did she had a lot of troubles learning school was very very hard for her and she had to repeat first grade she had to do it two times mm -hmm. she did she was in her second time of first grade when she died learning was very hard for her but in heaven is she having problems learning is she trying to work on those supas and she can't get them? Nope. Nope. No problem in heaven. She doesn't go to school. She knows everything now because she's in heaven, right? School is very hard for her, but not in heaven. Heaven's easy because she knows it all. And she's with God and she's with other children that are there that are in heaven. Mm -hmm. She's with Jesus and all sorts of cool stuff in heaven. Kaylee's there. Yep. Because why? She wanted God to be her daddy to help her every day to do what's right. Her, her home was ugly sometimes. And she wanted a daddy that loved her all the time and would always help her when she was sad and would help her with her schoolwork. Mm -hmm. So she made that decision. I hope you do it today. Our verse this week is found in Psalm 75, 1. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Right? I'm thankful today that I know that I'm going to heaven when I die. I don't know when that will be. But I'm thankful that God said, I can be his child. I'm thankful that God's my daddy. I'm thankful that God helped Kaylee to understand that God needed to be her daddy. And you know what? Kaylee had trouble learning things in school. She worked really, really hard, and it was hard. And sometimes she got discouraged. But you know what? She kept going. But you know what? The one thing Kaylee did understand that was not hard for her to say was that God loved her. God loved her and wanted to be her daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful that salvation is so simple that anybody, even a little girl that had trouble learning, so easy to understand that she could do that, right? Learning to ask God to be your dad is very easy. I did it when I was three years old. I was just little, little, little. When I asked God to be my daddy, he makes it so simple, right? Just have to say, God, I don't want the devil to be my daddy anymore. I'm not going to obey him. I'm going to obey you. Will you be my daddy? All you have to do, right? I'm thankful that it's that easy. Have you asked God to be your daddy? Or you just say, I'll do that later because I like to do what I want to. I don't want to have to obey God. Not a good idea. Let's say our verse three times, please, and then we'll be done. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Two more times, please. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. One more time. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Okay, make sure you send a video to Miss Susan of your verse. Make sure you send a video to Miss Susan of your victory drill. Yes, ma'am. Have a great weekend and audio.